So one of the passions I have is to present gaming related context on my YouTube channel and so far there has been very little luck. I actually live broadcasted uh, playing Final Fantasy 7 Remake and also Age of Empire 2 and uh, Romance of Three Kingdoms Series 13 but um, I'm not really getting that much view but fingers crossed I hope the algorithm is building up. Anyhow, since this is uh, related to gaming, I uh, just want to let you know that I actually uh, pledged and uh, funded the Funky S project that is available on Kickstarter. They have done actually quite well. They had um, 2,046 backers and earned up to 165,000 uh, euros. And finally, I got mine as well. So it's a very tiny box. And the rumor is that this will actually have PlayStation 1 game as well. So that's quite impressive because um, I would expect, uh, for my understanding, is that you would need at least the size of a Raspberry Pi, which is bigger than this. But anyhow, let's get into the unboxing of this product. So here it goes. So um, tiny box and straight away voila that is really tiny people <laughs> can't believe how tiny that is really this is the size of a key ring indeed um, you can carry it all the time and yeah well before we get into the details of that let's see what's inside a simple short uh, that's a US oh that's not a USB-C actually that's a previous uh, USB uh, cable I guess you could plug into your PC and then charge it all the time and um, that it seems to be a customizable color for your game button so probably it's because the button actually worns out quite quickly but we, we shall see and lastly we got a very small manual with a QR code and <laughs> I think that's the pretty much the oh that's the actual size to give you an idea how the units are and all the yeah, all the open source. Oh, open source, that's quite interesting. So would you be able to, does that mean that you'll be able to download stuff? Yeah, so you can actually, I think. And that's very interesting, you know, so it's not fixed. It's very flexible, ongoing development uh, software-ish. You can play various games, it sounds like. So well done for that. As you can see, that's the um, standard USB plug that you can get in, two buttons as well and that's pretty much it i guess so if we open it up i don't know whether you can see funky s on it uh, vaguely there lighting effect but um oh funky s uh, and there's the f flash sound so there's the button here obviously you can't see the screen but i will we'll go into that details but there's the um you know playstation like buttons there I presume that's the volume or on and off button that looks like pretty much and um, I guess this will be start or select maybe in a speaker there I presume and it's quite cool because you can actually see what's inside all the details that's the battery and that's the connection to the monitor and etc but unfortunately you can't really see what's going on the screen so I'll dim down the light to show you what sort of game it has all right so Game Boy uh, please note by the way these are just defaults and some of the add-ons that I actually made um, and uh, just want to give you an idea how many games you get in default but technically all these games are just um, I would say not really attractive game I had never heard of any of these actually um, so we've got Nintendo as well I don't think we've got enough time to go through all of them in details, but um, I hope you understand. I'm just quickly go skimming through so you could always pause and have a quick look of the idea of what sort of games you're going to get. So some of the um, consoles actually only have two or three games and it's it makes a lot of sense because you're just, well, you can always delete them, add them, and it's pretty good. You get um, 26 gigabytes and most of these games are like, what, like less than a megabyte. So you can imagine a lot of game can go inside to this tiny device, which is really impressive, actually. Uh, so what's this one? The Neo Geo Pocket. And um, I never heard of this one, to be honest with you, but there's nothing there. Um, PlayStation as well so I added a few games which I will demonstrate to you later on okay all right so you can see that my fun key S is now connected to my computer and um, what you need to do is press that power button on top 
and then you'll see the menu saying that um, we could look at that later on but mount USB so you press the A button and then it says are you sure you just press and you'll get eject USB but that means that it's connected to your computer so you'll see that in fact that on my computer screen now that there is the um, USB drive D that is connected so I think you need to go onto the website and then download transfer it to your files and this apparently has 27.8 gigabytes memory free that's brilliant So clearly this is the tiniest emulator gaming console that you could carry with you which is the size of a key ring. <laughs> it's really tiny. I, I can't believe how tiny it is and you can play up to PlayStation 1 game. So as you can see I downloaded Final Fantasy 7 and um, Grand Theft Auto 2. I also tried to download Tekken 3 and um, all other games but it's not 100% guaranteed that it's going to work. Sometimes it doesn't like for example Crash Bandicoot that I found online didn't work. Um, and the uh, other one just blanked out and um, I had to delete it and um, but when it comes to like all these classic arcade games like Super Mario Brothers or Legend of Zelda you can uh, download it and then try it out um, and you'll find out whether it works or not instantaneously but when it comes to downloading the PlayStation 1 games when it doesn't work it's really tiring but if you're one of those guys who like to wait for the downloading time and getting excited about oh whether this is going to work or not this is a perfect thing for you to carry or if you already have the file you can just instantaneously just transfer it from your PC and go on from there. So the quality of the buttons are really good. Um, I, I'm, I was actually mostly impressed when I, I was playing Super Mario Bro um, when I pressed, pressed the jump and the speed it was like instant response and also the screen quality even though it's really tiny uh, you can actually see what's going on <laughs> which is really good and um, and so on so I, I guess you can actually get extra software for getting MAME or all of other like um, software and you could you know this is basically you can customize it for your own good as well for a size for keyring which is just brilliant and um, it just shows how far mankind actually have gone with the development of the technology but I'm sure in the future maybe we'll probably get a bigger screen it's foldable and so on but this is probably the pinpoint of the achievement of how far we have gone and um, I really impressed with it I thought the PlayStation 1 was a bit of a gimmick kind of thing but it does work as it says on the tin so I just want to say thank you very much um, fun key s team for um, making such a brilliant device and um, it's really attractive product and i'm sure i'm going to enjoy playing the final fantasy 7 but the question will be if i were to finish the final fantasy 7 the first disc would that be able to automatically transfer to second disc and so on will be my big question which probably i'll let you know later on so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand more about what this uh, fun key s uh, device is and if you have any queries please do comment below and i'll try to come back to you as soon as possible all the best bye bye <laughs>